Hello, everyone. This is Nam Sang Hon from the Global Services Center at Korea University. First, before we begin, I'd like to congratulate and welcome you to Korea University. This orientation session is on general information that all international students must know about while studying at KU. This information is put together especially for our newly admitted students and transfer students of 2020 fall semester. On the first slide, you will find an introduction of Korean messenger app called KakaoTalk. This messenger app is widely used by many people in Korea, similar to the other messenger apps like Weibo and WhatsApp. Some of you may already have this app downloaded on your mobile, which is great. If you don't, we do recommend that you download this app through the App Store or Google Play Store. Once you download this app, go ahead and add us. And Global Service Center, under the name of KUGSC, as your plus friend. Now, you can add us as your friend on Kakaoto by following these steps. Search KUGSC as shown in number one on the left side. And then click on the icon next to number two. And finally, click confirm as shown in number three. Once you add us as your friend, you can talk to us or ask questions by clicking on, on the icon next to number one, which says chat in Korean. And then sh as, as shown in number two, you can go ahead and type in your message and press send. In this chat room, you can also find an FAQ. So you can take advantage of this function as well. Another benefit of you adding GSC as your friend on the Messenger app is that you can receive a bi-weekly GSC newsletter containing very important information and updates, especially for international students, such as info on scholarships, academic affairs, visa, immigration, and more. Now let's take a look at the university portal. Usually called Cupid, it is our university's website that every Korea university student, both local Korean and international students, must register and create an ID on. Through Cupid, you can check important notices, academic calendars, apply for scholarships, update your personal information, and more. Also, uh, once registered, your Korea University email account is created. So you can access your school email here and use our university's Wi-Fi if needed. When the school needs to contact you, including GSC, we use the contact info uploaded on the portal. So please make sure you check often and update your contact information, including your mobile phone number and email address regularly. You can create an ID and register starting from September 1st, as shown in this slide. And you can click English as the option for language for your convenience. Follow these steps on the screen and don't forget to opt for uh, email verification to create an ID and password. On Cupid, you can also get your certificates and different documents issued. Uh, and for your information, you can actually get these same documents issued at the uh, One Stop Service Center on campus by visiting in person as well. As you can see on the current slide, there are two types of student ID cards available. One being a regular student ID card and the other being a student ID card with financial function added onto it. Application period for the regular one is already over and I believe you received notices from us. If you uh, applied online, you can pick up your student ID card in person once the fall semester starts. There is also an option of offline application, and it starts on September 14th. You must go visit the One Stop Service Center in person to apply with your ID and a passport or ID photo of yourself. If you like to apply for a student ID card with financial function, you first need your ARC issued. 
You can use your student ID card as a debit card here in Korea if you add on the financial function. And you need to go to uh, KEB HANA Bank located on our campus to apply when the semester begins. The international student ID card that you can use outside of Korea shown at the end of this slide is optional. And it's different from Korea University's student ID card. If you like to uh, apply for one, you have to do it individually at the link listed on the slide. According to the policy of the Ministry of Education, based on the updated regulations of the National Health Insurance Act, all international students are required to pay the insurance for international student fee, along with their tuition. However, because international freshmen of 2020 full semester have already submitted or paid their tuition fees, we are separately offering an offline application period for international freshmen and transfer students. Application for health insurance is available every semester, so this semester's insurance will cover the period starting September 1st until February 28th, 2021, which includes winter vacation. The offline application period of health insurance for 2020 full semester international freshmen is from Wednesday, September 9th to Thursday, September 10th. You can come to the Global Leaders Lounge, which is located at Floor B1, basement of a building called Dongwon Global Leadership Hall, which is the same building that our center is located in. The insurance for international student fee is 44,800 Korean won, and details on the insurance plan, including its coverage, is explained in the email that was sent out. So please read it carefully. If you fail to apply for this health insurance plan during the designated time, there will be a penalty. You will not be able to get any of the school certificates or documents issued. The following students are exempt from paying the in insurance for international student fee. One, if you are someone who is already enrolled in the National Health Insurance Plan of Korea, or two, if you are someone who has already applied for a private Korean insurance plan in Korea. In this case, you must submit a copy of your insurance plan to GSC by email during the submission period, which is from August 17th to August 31st. To avoid getting a penalty or restriction on the issuance of your certificates or documents from the school. Keep in mind that the Mutual Health Aid Association fee is optional and is different from the insurance for international student fee. If you pay the Mutual Health Aid Association fee, you will be able to receive medical benefits or discounts at the two designated dental clinics so, uh, shown on this slide. If you paid a uh, mutual health aid association fee when you paid your tuition for this semester, you can follow the instructions listed here and get your medical benefit, eligibility verification card, and show this card uh, at the designated dental clinic to receive a discount on your treatment. There are different types of scholarships offered to Korea University's international students. Among them are the following three you can see on this slide. Academic Excellence Scholarship, Academic Improvement Scholarship, and Need-Based Scholarship. The list of eligibility requirements is shown right here. The application period for fall semester is in early July. and. Uh, uh, application period for spring semester is in early January. So please be on the lookout for the scholarship notice on the portal around these times and follow the instructions to apply for the scholarship that you want during the given period. If you plan on applying for a scholarship, it will be done online except for the Academic Excellence Scholarship. If you achieve an outstanding GPA, you, you will automatically be considered for this scholarship. 
no application is needed. For the other scholarships, remember to check online on Cupid and or on our GSC homepage for more information. As a foreigner living in an unfamiliar country, you may face and experience emotional difficulties, concerns, or feelings of loneliness and more. Uh, for a smooth transition and satisfactory life on campus, you can request to receive student counseling services at Korea University's Student Counseling Center. It will be with a professional and your sessions will be kept confidential. This slide shows how you can first get started if you are interested. Scheduling the first appointment may take one or two, two weeks, but also be advised that consultation in English is available on Friday only at this time. This will be a great opportunity for you to learn the language of Korea, Korean. GSC offers free Korean language classes during vacations. Why not apply for this program during vacations? You may be able to learn more about the Korean culture, language, and make new friends. Additionally, GSC offers the LTE language exchange program for all international students at KU. LTE here stands for Learning by Teaching Experience. And if you sign up to participate in this program, you can learn Korean and make new friends, especially with a local Korean student here at Korea University. You will have Kuisa members helping you out too. But this program offers one-on-one -on -one language exchange, so take advantage of all the programs that you can while being here in Korea. Now on to course registration and Blackboard. Instructions on using Blackboard are organized uh, in a file by KUISA, the student organization formed to help, help out international freshmen. And it will be sent to you via email. And the course registration period for newly admitted students of 2024 semester is from August 26th to 27th. As you are already aware, all the sessions in, in the face-to-face -face orientation week are cancelled. Instead, our GSC mentors and uh, KUISA members are helping you out with the course registration information. As I mentioned on the previous slide, more details will be given by email on the use of Blackboard. However, if you want to know how to first activate it, follow the steps right here. You can log into the portal or Cupid, and you will find the shortcut menu for Blackboard on the bottom right as the image shows. Click on the shortcut menu to activate it. Here are some of uh, the functions of Blackboard. You can send emails to your peers and professors, check timetables and grades, submit your assignments and projects and more. You can also check your course materials uploaded by your professors on Blackboard. Now, on to another important uh, piece of information. At Korea University, we have campus police for security, and uh, you can call them at 023290-1919. It operates for 24 hours. In case of an emergency, you can call this number, but you would have to provide details of your, of your location. For this reason, and of course for you to navigate through campus more easily, it would be very useful for you to become familiar with our school's campus and buildings as soon as possible. Also, as, as the picture on the far right shows, throughout our university campus, we have emergency bells installed. Also, in case of an emergency outside of the university campus, for police, call 112. For fire, call 119. And just as a simple tip, if you want to go and sign a contract for housing, you should go with a local Korean friend or an international friend who has been living in Korea for a long time to avoid potential scams if possible. As you know already, you must pay your tuition uh, before the semester begins. Uh, tuition payment for current students. 
not newly admitted students generally starts in the fourth week of February for spring semester and in August for fall semester. Those who cannot pay their tuition in a lump sum can apply for payment in installments uh, for the next semester. Payment in installments are spread out over four months from March to June for spring semester and from September to December for fall semester. The application period and tuition payment date for payments in installments are different from the regular tuition payment period. So please be on the lookout for notices and information on Cupid regarding this payment plan if you are interested. Up next is an introduction of uh, huge events held for Korea University students that you guys may be interested in. The first one is called the Granite Tower Festival and Ypsilanti. It is usually held in the fourth week of May where Korean cel uh, celebrities and idols come to perform. Ypsilanti is the grand finale of the Granite Tower Festival and it is one of the most famous events of the year at Korea University, so you should definitely look forward to it. Another huge event of the year is called Go Yeonjeon, which is uh, the annual sports competition held between Korea University and Yonsei University in Korea. This year, it will be held from September uh, 25th to September 26th. It will be a lot of fun, cheering for our university's sports teams and watching the games. Uh, be sure to attend this annual event if spectators are allowed in the stadium. The Crimson Center, some of you may already be familiar with it. It is a center where you can buy Korea University souvenirs and if you are a tourist, you can sign up for campus tours uh, here at this center. The Crimson Center is located near the Central Plaza and the entrance or exit of Korea University subway station. Here is yet another helpful tip. This website called GoPass is powered by Korea University students. You can only access this website if you are a Korea University student with an official login information. It has a free bulletin board filled with information for Korea University students. You can find study partners on, on here, look up information on certain courses, look for second-hand books, find accommodations and more. The following two slides will show you how to register on this website. Follow the steps A, B and C to register and log in. The next slide shows some useful contacts and this is the last page of our orientation clip. Welcome you all again and hope you have a wonderful freshman year. Thank you.